Do you ever look up at the sky and wonder what is your true purpose? Or gaze into your children's eyeballs and see their disappointment in you? You see, the road to failure or success is just a matter of choices that we make as we navigate throughout our lives. I decided a long time ago to get off of my mother's couch and make something of myself, and I can do the same for you. My name is Charles Brighton Jr., and this is the Charles Brighton Jr. Experience. I want to say, number one, I want to say I apologize for being late. That's number one. Number two, I would like to apologize beforehand to all my subscribers and all those people out there who follow me religiously. I want to apologize to you guys because in about two seconds, I'm about to get out of character. Okay, what I want to discuss today, I want to talk about adapting, adaptation. And the reason why I want to talk about that is this. There's a lot of people out here on social media who got it twisted. They got it mixed up. They think that because they see me here, a motivational speaker, they see me here with shirt and tie on. My slacks are always pressed. They see me with good hair. They see me suave and debonair. And for some reason, they got it in their head. They think that I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth. You see, they think that everything was handed to me on a silver platter. But see, it don't work like that. Because everything that you see that I have, I had to work hard for. Now, don't get me wrong. Don't get it twisted. I was like you. I was whack. Okay? I would be at home drinking Kool-Aid with no sugar in it. Or have my little fried bologna sandwich with no bologna and no bread. So I was whack like you. I get it. But see, what I don't get is all the hate. And you can be where I'm at. You don't have to hate. Participate. But one thing I won't stand for is people out here circulating a lot of untruths about me. Because see, some people think it's sweet. And the one thing you got to know about me is where I grew up, it wasn't nice. But I knew how to handle myself. Because see, one thing about me, I was always nice with the hands. I was always nice with these. And I was known as a chin checker. I would check chins. And I would set up shop just to put heads to bed. I was always nice with mine. And if for those haters out there, if you don't believe it, come see the kid. Come test me. Come check me out. And I'll let you know how I get down. Because see, as I started this off, this is all about adaptation. Because I can adapt in the boardroom, I can adapt on Wall Street, and I damn sure can adapt when it comes down to these. So if you want to come test me, come test the kid, come see me. And if that don't tell you what, what I'm about, maybe this will. I'm going to let you know what I'm about right now. Okay? I need you to cue up the beat. 